Hi everyone. This is going to be a short video of Ed's Quadrifier pellet stove controller, the uh, 7000-205. Ed sent this to me because he was having some problems on his uh, furnace with it. So I've done a few things with it. I've made some updates on the hardware so that it would display a little LED, green LED over here when uh, the auger is running. That will give him some indication of when the auger is driving should be driving and uh, I've noted on there yellow, red and green, yellow at 200 degrees F, the little yellow light should come on and it should change to red at about 600 degrees F. So I've tested that and it's all okay and on my test stove, a Castile here, it's working fine. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the whole system on here. I'm uh, simulating, I guess I should hold the camera this way. I'm simulating a temperature of 60 degrees Fahrenheit and right now my element is not being driven, of course, because my furnace is off. So I'll go ahead and turn it on and we'll see the blue light over here blink a number of times and the yellow indicator light will not come on until I start ramping up the temperature. So, but we will see the green auger light come on and that will status will change as um, things happen. So here we go, uh, there goes our blue light indicator and pretty soon we'll see the green auger light come on once I call for heat because right now I'm not calling for heat. So let me call for heat, switch that on, there goes my thermostat and we saw the light in the background come on there. So all of a sudden, yeah, we have our green auger light telling me that the auger is being driven by the microcontroller. We've got the standard blink sequence and we've got my label that I added, yellow 200 degrees F, red and green for the auger. So as I previously noted, uh, room temperature simulated is 50 degrees C, or 50 degrees Fahrenheit, sorry, and the element is being driven with 120 volts AC. So as I ramp up the temperature here, I get close to 200, we'll see that the light on the controller will go to yellow and we should see that turn on pretty there it is there's yellow and i'm at about 206 degrees fahrenheit so a little pretty close so that's all working correctly now if i ramp up to 600 degrees fahrenheit um just keep the camera on i'm at 300 400 500 i'm approaching 600 now the yellow light should turn to red and there it is and we see now the auger is intermittently being driven, intermittently being driven. So that's the way it should be. And by the way, the element has been turned off by the controller. So we're at 600 degrees or higher. The fire is roaring, so to speak. Um, the element is not being driven on. I'm, being, I'm calling for heat because my red light in the back is on. And you can see uh, the high temperature indicator is on. And so is the auger being driven. So everything here is working correctly. A uh, quick note here, what I can do is if I quit calling for heat, the auger should quit driving. And we heard the motor speed change, but the auger is not driving anymore. So if I, and we see that our voltage to the heater element is no longer on. So if I turn it back on, we saw the auger drive. We'll wait a second here, there it is again but the element is not on and we're still at 600 degrees Fahrenheit. So if I simulate that I'm not calling for heat and the fire drops a little bit because I'm not driving pellets into it, I've lost my red light, so I'm at 500 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm back in yellow. If I turn on the call for heat, the auger, or not the auger, but the element should come back on. There it is, we see 120 volts AC being called the auger is being called on to drop pellets into the fire and my temperature should slowly increase as the fire temperature raises. As I get to 600 degrees, my light will go from yellow to red and there it is. And the element gets shut off and everything is in normal mode here. So Ed, thank you for sending me your controller. It looks like it's functioning correctly and uh, I'll send it back to you now. Thanks. Bye-bye.